Five Nights at Freddy's is a franchise with mostly linear games. The object is simply to survive, but just because the objective is obvious doesn't mean that the gameplay is. There are lots of little bits of story and lore to find along the way and therefore lots of details that can be missed. In addition to that, the game isn't an easy one to beat. There are lots of opportunities for players to make a wrong move or not react fast enough, which could result in their death. Add in how terrifying and scream inducing the game tends to be and well, you have a lot of opportunity in these nightmare inspiring animatronic filled games for failure. Welcome back my fellow gamers, this is Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host Amanda McKnight. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the most embarrassing and horrifying playthroughs and FNAF experiences as we count down the top 10 scary FNAF fails. If you love FNAF as much as we do, be sure to show that love by giving this list a thumbs up. Remember, tapping that like protects you against jump scares, it's true. Alright, now let's get counting. Number 10, VR Fail. So while there are lots of FNAF games that you can play, one of the more popular and challenging ones to stream is FNAF VR Help Wanted. And yet, everyone attempts streaming this game. The problem with streaming any VR games is that the technical difficulties you could be dealing with from your setup can be pretty horrific. One of the most terrifying being not being able to get your sound to work while streaming. Uh, pretty awkward. This takes away from the atmosphere of not just your stream, but much of the game relies on sound, making it almost impossible to play without proper audio. So while it might feel less scary to begin with, after all it's just a technical difficulty, all the unexpected jump scares will likely lead to being more frustrated and horrified in the long run. YouTuber Shogaz experienced this challenge firsthand when trying to stream their playthrough of Help Wanted. Number 9, Miss Tapes. A big part of Help Wanted is all the tapes you can collect which help you to piece together the story of Glitch Trap and how this animatronic virus came to be, as well as the dangers of the Help Wanted game itself. However, during the opening sequence of Help Wanted, many experienced gamers and streamers like Darkness have missed out on that first tape, which is on the left side of the conveyor belt as you move along during the intro. Missing out on all of the in-depth story and explanation behind Glitch Trap's character is a scary prospect indeed. It's kind of one of the coolest things about that game. Although I guess even if you don't know Glitch Trap's origins, it still exudes a pretty terrifying presence just by showing up in the room with you. If you look around and you know, notice it. Number 8. Watch out for Foxy. You might think you know what to expect in Help Wanted because you've played all the games in the franchise, but the FNAF 1 first night in the game isn't playing around. Eddie VR experienced just how ruthless the VR version of the first FNAF game could be when he incurred the wrath of Foxy. If you thought you were usually safe on night 1 in that first game, you'd, well, you'd mostly be right. The mistake that Eddie made was sticking his head out of the control room to physically look down the hall, which you can do in the VR game, but doing this will prompt Foxy to come in and give you a surprise visit. In this case, it prompted Foxy to come run in, jump scaring him before the phone guy's call was even complete. That's a really quick fail on night one. <laughs> Number seven, Golden Freddy mode. If there is one thing that FNAF has become popular for, it's the custom night modes at the end of each game. Well, I don't actually find FNAF 2 to be quite as scary as FNAF 1, just my personal opinion. Its custom night mode is definitely mega terrifying in comparison. There are just more animatronics for you to deal with, which makes the Golden Freddy custom night with all animatronics and characters set at level 20 feel insane. You honestly never stop and there are more actions that you have to take to keep all the antagonists of this game at bay. Winding up the music box, wearing your Freddy head, using your flashlight, the vents, there's just so many opportunities for failure here. And yet Foxy seems to be one of the characters still to most watch out for. At least. Foxy appears to be YouTuber Etho's most common form of demise. Foxy and Mangle, gotta watch out for those guys. Number 6. What am I doing? With FNAF 4, many players struggled to figure out just how exactly to win and what exactly they should be doing at any given time. And that was just the main game. Every Night X Riot also felt the struggle not just in the main game though, but in the mini game Fun with Plush Trap. It's really important in FNAF when you get instructions for the game to really read those instructions. Unfortunately, he was so horrified from the previous mini game that he was unable to focus on the fun with plus track objective and how to play blurb. This caused him to fail out. Too bad. Although to be honest, even if you do manage to read the blurb, this is a mini game that many struggle to succeed on. It's really all about timing. It's just a challenging mini game and it's one that's pretty easy to fail. Flashlight, use flashlight to stop plus trap on the X to Wait, I wasn't done reading it. I was fixing my headphones. Oh, that is so nice. That is such a nice little plot twist right there. So we have to keep him off the X 
for the next 80 seconds. Is that what the is going on here? What is this horrible thing? Number five, distraction. One important thing is to continue focusing on the task at hand when it comes to the FNAF games. YouTuber formerly known as What the Hook shared his own compilation video in 2014 of him playing through FNAF 1 and all the fails that he experienced personally. His mistake? Not paying enough attention to all the animatronics. While fixating on the disturbing glitching appearance of Bonnie on the security cam, who does, as he observes, creepily only have one eye showing, it's pretty creepy, Chica manages to sneak into the control room and jump scares him as soon as he lowers his monitor. In fact, he had made me so distracted, even I was jump scared by this one. Just a reminder that if you don't want to get jump scared in FNAF, you need to be mindful of all potential threats at all times. All right, you're close. Too close for comfort. That's so bothersome. Like, that bothers me. Like, one of his eyes aren't even visible. Looks like it's see-through. <gasps> Number 4, 2020 2020. Many fans of FNAF who are also game streamers that played through the first installment and fell in love felt compelled at the end to do the unimaginable. Go 20, 20, 20, 20 on the custom night. That's playing with all animatronics, Chica, Bonnie, Freddy, and Foxy at level 20. It seemed impossible, but actually quite a few gamers managed to pull it off. What most of them don't let you see is just how long it took them to win. Markiplier, however, was proud of the pain and the rage that he suffered and decided to show off his hard work with a fail compilation video that was edited down from seven hours of failing. That's right, it took him seven long hours of trying before he finally beat that all 20 level custom night. The frustration and number of jump scares he had to suffer was real and was quite horrifying. Feel bad for him, that's a long time to be playing FNAF. Ugh. I'm scared just thinking about it. Number three, who's left? What would a top 10 gaming list be without some of our own fails, am I right? My co-host Connor has of course also played through some FNAF VR Help Wanted, and he's had his own struggles in that playthrough. In the parts and salvage minigame in Help Wanted, you have to do some maintenance on Bonnie. Now in order to complete this game, you have to follow the instructions carefully. However, due to some confusion over left and right, and the interpretation of that direction, Connor found himself continuously jump scared by Bonnie for failing to follow the directions properly. The fail came from when the voice said to remove Bonnie's left eye, keyword there being Bonnie. Connor kept thinking of his own left side as opposed to Bonnie's. Your left, after all, your left, is my right. This is my right hand. The best part actually is when Connor returns to the lobby after his last failed attempt there and is asked by the voice if he is having fun yet. The answer to that question was an emphatic no. <laughs> I feel you though, Connor. Honestly, I still need to use that L thumb trick where like you you make a L with your left hand so that I know my left from my right. So I would also probably struggle there as well. I need to figure this out. I'm going to figure this out, okay? Oh no. I'm going to figure this out. I didn't figure it out. Number two, bail fail. Have you ever been so scared in a game that you couldn't even proceed? Well, that is what happened to Eddie VR when he tried out the vent repair level in Help Wanted. He was only able to make it through the intro before he had to bail. Fun time Foxy scared him so bad after the lights went out that he immediately left the game. This is the type of fail that only happens in games as terrifying as FNAF where you become too scared to even play. And especially in VR where everything appears so real. Number one, FNAF. Three. Five Nights at Freddy's 3 threw everyone for a loop. It was such a different game due to the hauntings that you had to deal with. Even experienced gamers struggled trying to figure out how to avoid ventilation errors, how to avoid those haunting jump scares, only to find out that yeah, you can't. It's just a hard game when it comes to dealing with malfunctions at Fazbear's Fright. You had less control over your surroundings and were unavoidably jump scared when the ventilation systems went down, due to the hauntings or hallucinations appearing and attacking you. The benefit is they wouldn't kill you or end your game, but they would make it a lot harder for you to avoid Springtrap, who's the real threat in that game. Most frightening fails in FNAF 3 came from gamers refusing to accept the ventilation errors were just part of the game, fixating on some way to avoid them, which usually resulted in their death at the hands of the game's antagonist, its only antagonist, Springtrap. Thank you so much for watching. What are some of your favorite fail moments that you've seen in FNAF playthroughs? Have you had any epic fails of your own that you want to share? Let us know in the comments below. This has been Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host Amanda McKnight, reminding you to keep on gaming on. Pew pew!